Hey guys, welcome to a new video. I wanted to just jump in here, give you guys a quick idea of some different images that you can make that were gonna be quite profitable on Adobe Stock. I'm gonna be using Mid Journey today, and um, what I'm gonna be doing is creating these sticker letters. So what I tend to find is any kind of item that people are searching for or people are looking for on Adobe Stock is typically gonna sell. And I I've recommended this in my members area before, but when you want to create images, think of what people are searching for. Sometimes they'll search for letters just like this, like a, a lettered kind of image, like any kind of topography letter type image. The cool thing about these images is that they have these graphics inside of them. And it's kind of one of those things that you don't know what you get until you try it. But I had the idea to do it, and I figured I'll do it here publicly live and for fun. So what I did here was I typed in sticker letter, and then whatever letter it is, and then vector, comma, white background. So what this does is it kind of creates these, these different designs each and every time uh, it's being created. So you can see here, like on the letter H, we have this green, I don't want to say green, uh, red, blue, yellow, kind of like a rustic feel of an of a letter, uh, letter H. And then here we have something that's botanical in a way. Now, I didn't have to tell Midjourney to do that. It kind of thought of that, at, you know, itself. And so I could try this with all kinds of different letters. So let's just use this exact same prompt as last time. Sticker letter R, vector, comma, white background. And we can hit submit here. And what you could do is you can change it up as much as you want. I'll go with a turbo speed for this. You can change it up as much as you want where you can give it like a certain detail. And it might, you know, create those characteristics. So, for example, if I write botanical here. Right. Let me go ahead and fix the spelling botanical. And I just hit submit. This image is probably going to have some more botanical type features. If you're not sure of what to create, you can go over here, take out any kind of restriction keyword or description keyword rather, and increase your stylization and test how it will look. So this one had botanical and it had a bunch of different, you know, flowers on it. This didn't have, you know, didn't have the keyword botanical, but it had a, a, a stylization of 100. This one doesn't have any kind of uh, stylization or stylization at 300 with no descriptive keyword. Uh, it's still kind of producing, takes a little bit of time, but here we have the R. We can do H, for example. Let's do the same thing here. We could do um, P. We could do Q. And then we could even move into numbers after we're finished you know, doing this, we can type in one here, but I would say the number one vector, right? Just like that. And hopefully it will come out. These are more like 11s, not necessarily ones, but you get the idea. What if we type in number two, just like that, see what comes up. Yeah, this one was okay. I think this one was the best one, but we have this as well. We have this one, we have this one, not bad. Right, some are flower like, some aren't. Um, let's try S, letter S. I could see that it might have some issues with the letter S because it looks like an infinity kind of, but hey, actually, it worked it, pretty decent. Um, let's type in, let's type in some descriptive keyword now, just out of curiosity. I'm going to type in fruit. Let's see what happens. This is kind of a wild card, I'm not really sure what to expect. But yeah, I think that actually came out pretty nice. You have the S that looks somewhat like a strawberry. Um, interesting, okay? Not sure if there's a connection there. Uh, but let's type in, instead of fruit, let's type in sports, okay? Let's see here. Okay, not much there. I was looking for something a little bit different, but let's use the letter M. How about that for sports? And let's see if that does anything. And instead of sports, yeah, so this is definitely, you can see now where things kind of change, right? So we have a, a letter M here, but this is not really what I'm looking for. We have this letter M, this letter M, this letter M. They all look great. Uh, I can remove this, right? We can use letter T. 
and then letter O. Try to get that full stack. The nice thing about this is you can create a lot of variations to this, um, and you can upload them all to Adobe Stock and have your AI tool tag all of them. So pretty cool. This is definitely something I'm going to create a little bit more of. I know I have uploaded a little bit of this already with this kind of style in some of my accounts, but um, I'll probably do a little bit more of this. I don't I don't see why not. Um, it just describing the the letters might might take some energy, some time, but you know, at the end of the day, I am using AI, so I don't really have to worry too much about this. But once again, guys, the reason why something like this might be successful, when you're uploading it and you're attempting to sell these kind of images is because there are people searching for these kind of things and they might be looking for a logo. They might be wanting to write like some sort of creative word like congratulations or something. Um, and I might actually do that. So I might type in like congrats here, like something for a graduation or whatever it is. They might come up with their own kind of idea there could be a lot of commercial type uses for something like this. Um, and so, yeah, it's creative, it's colorful, it's cool, at least I could say. And it's just a, yet another way to get creative and make different images out there. Um, you know, we have to fill up our portfolios as much as we can. You know, get to that half a million point of images. In order to do that, we're going to have to get creative. We're going to have to think of different things that maybe might seem like a wild card, to be honest, might seem like something that might not make sense all the time. But trust me, uh, you can get some crazy cool results. So I figured I'd share this. I hope you guys enjoy it. Maybe it sparked some ideas for you and uh, test it out. Try it out. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'll see you guys soon. Peace out. Bye.